It's umsum time. Why is ice slippery? No, it is not. See, I can easily walk. Oh, umsum. <laughs> To buy Umsum merchandise, visit Umsum.com. It was commonly believed that <laughs> friction generates a film of liquid water oh. on the surface of ice. Hmm. In an experiment, scientists found out that surface ice does not completely transform into liquid water but ends up in a mixed state, mm. as in a mixture of ice water and crushed ice. Also, its thickness is about oh. one hundredth the thickness of a strand of our hair. Hmm. Finally, scientists concluded that ice becomes slippery huh? because of the viscous nature of this film of water. Hmm. Also, this film of water which is formed due to friction is the reason why an ice skater is able to surf on the top of snow. Hmm. Topic: Thermoregulation. <laughs> huh? Why do dogs pant? Because they want to tease us. No, they pant for thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is the process by which organisms maintain their internal body temperature. Oh well, I use an air conditioner. Oh, you're unbelievable! When we humans feel hot,、mm. the sweat glands, which are present all over our body, produce sweat. Sweat is about 99% water. This water takes our body heat and evaporates. Helping us to lose heat. Now, dogs also have sweat glands. However, they are present under their paws. But as their paws are small and are mostly used to stand and sit, sweating through them to lose heat is not enough. Hence, dogs pant. During panting, they take their long tongue out and breathe heavily. Due to this, the water in their saliva evaporates, taking their body heat, thus helping in thermoregulation. <laughs> Topic: Pimples. Huh? Oh. Why do we get pimples? Cause they don't want me to look handsome. No. Pimples are caused due to the activity of sebaceous gland present in our skin. Hmm. This gland produces an oily substance called sebum. Sebum comes up to the skin surface through a pore and moisturizes our hair and skin. Oh. Like a moisturizer? Absolutely. Oh. However, sometimes the pore gets blocked due to dead skin cells. Due to this blockage, the sebum gets accumulated, creating a bump. As sebum is a very good source of nutrients for the bacteria in our skin, they start to grow in that area, leading to an infection. Our immune system responds to this infection by sending blood and immune cells. Blood makes the area red, whereas the immune cells kill the bacteria, resulting in inflammation and formation of a pimple. <laughs> Topic: Pathogens. Why do we get fever? So that we can take a holiday from work. <laughs> nah.、Huh? Fever is a protective response of our body to fight against pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. These pathogens cause diseases. Hence, when pathogens enter our body, the immune cells, such as white blood cells, produce chemicals called pyrogens, which are released into the bloodstream. <laughs> oh, I thought like movies, they are released in theaters. <laughs> Please pay attention.、Mm. Hypothalamus, which is a small part of our brain, regulates our body temperature.、Mm. However, when these pyrogens reach the hypothalamus, it starts to raise our body temperature. Thus, producing fever.、Hmm. Now, one of the reasons for producing this fever is that many pathogens cannot survive at high temperatures. Thus, they die, and we remain safe. <laughs> Topic: Auroras. Huh? Why are auroras formed? Maybe because the Earth forgets to switch off the lights. <laughs> nah.、Huh? Let me explain. Hmm. Our sun is a giant burning star. It expels tons of solar wind into space. Solar、huh? wind consists of super hot charged particles, which are fatal. So, should we use a big umbrella to protect ourselves from these particles? No.、Huh? The Earth's magnetic field acts like a shield and protects us. Its field lines appear to emerge from the South Pole and merge into the North Pole. 
Hmm. Now, when the charged particles hit our magnetic field, most of them get deflected. However, some huh? of them flow along the Earth's magnetic field lines to the poles and <laughs> reach our upper atmosphere. Hmm. Here, these particles collide with oxygen and nitrogen. This causes them to give off various ah. colors of light, which are called auroras. <laughs> Topic: Friction. <laughs> Why is it difficult to pull a boat on the beach than on the sea? Mm. Hey, you will find it difficult to pull the boat on the beach. Pull it on the sea. There it will be quite easy. Indeed, why not? Fine, don't listen. Mm. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> At least now try to pull the boat on the huh? sea is quite easy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yippee! Do you know why? Mm. This is because of friction. Friction is the force which opposes the motion of an object. It always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. The amount of friction depends upon the texture of an object and the surface on which it is being moved. <laughs> <laughs> Rough textures or surfaces offer greater friction as compared to smooth textures or surfaces. Arg! Do you want to say that my brand new boat has a rough texture? No. Even though the texture of the boat is almost smooth, the small particles of sand present on beach form a rough surface. Hmm. Hence, when we pull the boat on beach, the sand particles <laughs> offer greater friction and oppose the motion of the boat, thus making it difficult to move the boat on the beach. Hmm. However, the sea being a liquid <laughs> forms a smooth surface. <laughs> Hence, when we pull the boat on sea, it <laughs> offers less friction, thus making it comparatively less <laughs> difficult to pull the boat on sea. <laughs> Topic: Properties of a liquid. Why is a huh? diver able to cut through water in a swimming pool? Ha! <laughs> Simple. Because I taught him. No, this is because of intermolecular force. Huh? Intermolecular force is the force of attraction present in between the molecules of solids, liquids, <laughs> or gases. Now, the intermolecular forces in liquids are not very strong. Boo! This means I'm the strongest of all. Oh, please listen. Oh. Since the intermolecular forces are not strong, hmm. the molecules of a liquid are loosely <laughs> packed and they have empty spaces in between them. Hmm. As a result, the molecules can be displaced from their original position. <laughs> Hence, when a diver jumps into water, its molecules get displaced from their original position huh? and the diver is able to cut through the water. <laughs> Topic: Resonance <laughs> How does sound break glass? Obviously using a hammer. Ah. Nah. Huh? It is because of resonance. I know. Resonance means to keep calm and balance. No. Wait, I'll explain. Every object huh? when struck vibrates at its natural frequency. If we make sound having a frequency which matches the object's natural frequency, then that object starts to vibrate. This phenomenon is called resonance. So, this was the reason why my legs started to move when the music system was switched on. Oh, just listen. Every glass is made up of different materials. However, hmm. all of them have a natural resonant frequency. Hence, when ah. we make sounds which match their resonant frequencies, the ah. glasses start to vibrate. As glass is a brittle material, louder the <laughs> sound, more violently will it vibrate, causing the glass to <laughs> shatter into pieces. <laughs> Topic, water purification. <laughs> Why is alum added to water? Uh-huh, because water does not like to be alone. It wants somebody's company. Nah. Huh? Alum is added to purify water. Alum is aluminum sulfate. Hmm. It acts as a coagulant. A coagulant oh. attracts and binds with extremely fine and small particles to form a large particle. Ew, I won't use it. But why? 
because it will attract all small insects and make a large insect. Oh, you're just unbelievable. When a solution of alum is added to impure water, it attracts and binds with contaminants and fine suspended particles of mud, dirt, etc. <laughs> to form large particles. Being large, these particles can be removed by filtration, or when they settle down due to gravity, they can be removed through decantation, giving us pure water.